Are you crazy? Are you kind? Are you mean and pretending you're nice? What up, what up, what up? Happy Wednesday, Facebook, and we're, welcome to another edition of Pop Dust Live. You're wondering why I'm tripping over my words. It's because <laughs> I'm sitting next to probably everybody's Woman Crush Wednesday. Um, Wednesday? Because it's Wednesday and I'm getting overheated. Uh, <laughs> it is a little hot outside um, in New York. Without further ado, um, El Varner, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, Hi. Uh, so... Oh, Do you man. need a refill? Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we call that a callback in the industry, Three ladies and gentlemen. So, L, yeah, I call you L. Yes. Um. So, <laughs> you bless us with you know this amazing music. You give us this phenomenal album. Mm-hmm. Um. Then you disappear on me. I mean us. Hmm. And I don't like that word, but you come back with a new song. Loving You Blonde. Mm-hmm. Just released a video for it as well. Mm-hmm. It's an amazing video. Thank you. So the world wants to know, what have you been up to? I have been living, learning, growing, um, becoming a woman, um, you know, getting my stripes in this industry. It's, it's uh, hey, we all know what it is. It's, it's not the most... Um, Glamorous? Glamorous? Well, it actually is very glamorous, but it uh, it's glamorous on the outside. <laughs> but on the inside, it can be very tough. And um, But there's no artist that's ever sustained a career that hasn't been through ups and downs. Absolutely. So I'm very proud of myself for making it through. I'm grateful, extremely grateful to God, to... Everyone who has supported me, my fans, um, people that in the industry that have supported me through a tough time. I have some new amazing partners at E1. And I have my own label, 212 Entertainment. Um, So I am really growing uh, into an entrepreneur. I'm putting to you so many skills that I never really um, had had used before, you know, from production and engineering to even, I went to NYU Clive Davis School, so we had to learn everything from theory to contracts to, you know, the history of different A&Rs, mm-hmm. executives, so I'm getting to put to use a lot of these tools and it's very exciting. Amazing, amazing. Thank so, you. tell us about your own label. Yeah. Um, it is, well, I'm the first artist. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> um, but it's really, it's something, well, okay, so back in college, I started a label called Wild Child Records. <laughs> Wild Child. That was like my tag I put in front of all of my songs. And I was doing a lot more than I realized. I actually had this studio that I worked out of up in the Bronx called The Zoo uh, with my friends Mav and Platino and Cy and everybody. And we were just some crazy kids making music, but we were like really doing it. And um, I just didn't know at the time it would come full circle Mm -hmm. to now having my own label. Awesome. So... Mm -hmm. With your time being away, I imagine you had a lot of time to just reflect on not just the business aspect, but mm. the love of music. Mm. Was there ever a point that the frustration with the business seeped into your love of music? Absolutely. I was in a pretty dark place at times. I felt like something was taken away from me. But what I had to realize is like, girl, God did not take away your voice. He did not take away your talent. He might have changed things around, little situations, but at the end of the day, it was never about that. That's extra. My ability to do this and what he gave me is for people. It's it's really not for my benefit. Um, I really believe in the way that my music is able to touch people on a on a soul level, and. Um, 
that's that's what I'm out here trying to do with the rest of my life. Like, just connect and and be a support system, whether it's to other women in the industry, young girls coming up, young men that that uh, don't have a voice, whoever it is. Seems like with this time away, you've really, really tapped into not just so much your identity as an artist, but your identity as a person mm. and as a woman. And with your identity when it comes to music, the new song, Love You mm. Blind, it's like you said, it has like somewhat of a folk twang to it, but it's mm-hmm. definitely, you know, Elvana to the max. Mm-hmm. What was the inspiration that went into the crea- creation of the song? And how did you know that this was the proper song to reintroduce yourself to the audience with? The song just happened, you know? I was feeling these emotions about a new relationship, and the song just happened. I had this instrument that I'd never even seen or heard of before. I, I like to go, okay, there's two things I love. Vintage clothes shopping and instruments. I will be buying vintage instruments till I die. <laughs> like, and I found this little thing. It's not a ukulele. It's just a little, it, it only has three notes on it. So there's only but so much you can do, and the song just happened. And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> You felt it. I was like, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty fire. <laughs> and luckily I had the support of my team, my label, and, you know, they saw what this could be. And, yeah, let's defy, let's let's be out here defying norms and, and standards and pushing the envelope. Yeah, definitely, because that's something that you've been doing since day one. Yeah. You know, it's, <laughs> You brought a lot of uniqueness, you know, not just with your look, but just your sound and even your personality. So mm, when I said you. that, you know, you were underappreciated, I said that in the sense that, you know, a lot of what people are identified with now as far as their uniqueness and their own identity, that's mm-hmm. something that's being extremely coveted now. Mm. But it seemed like even at a young age before... Mm everything that's happening with this social climate started to come to the surface. You are already like, you know what? I'm L. Hear me roar. And yeah. it's just amazing to see you come back with a song like this that mm. speaks to your uniqueness and, you know, you. your fearlessness when it comes to trying something new. Because when I first heard Loving You, Vaughn, I'm like, yeah, she's back. But the musical aspect of it is like, this is very, very, like, you know, folky, <laughs> has a little bit of a Celtic vibe to it, yes. but like, I definitely appreciate it. Mm. And the video, too, it's very, very understated. You mm. know? It's not, you know, something, once again, when you've been missing for so long, most artists think they have to make a splash in the biggest way. Mm. And I feel like with this song, you just came in very, very quietly, but very, very boldly, and the video and the song kind of go hand in hand with it. Thank you. How does it feel to kind of be in a position now where if people weren't familiar with you before, they're going to be familiar with you now. How does that feel being underneath your own label, mm. steering your own ship, and being in this climate now, you know, with uniqueness and, you know, identity being so celebrated? It's it's like, you know how they say it takes 10 years to become an overnight, overnight success? success. Mm-hmm. Well, we coming up on about 10 years. And um I couldn't I couldn't have it any other way. If I'd had a straight shot to the top and everything worked out and I was just like blah blah blah. Who knows? Do you know how hard it is to cope to to survive this industry? You have yes men around you. You have drinks drugs you have people jealousy it is so lonely i remember when my first manager told me she said this is going to be so lonely it's gonna be like living in a fishbowl and i said no way i couldn't i couldn't fathom it but it quite frankly it is it takes guts to get on social media every day, Mm -hmm. to read thousands or hundreds of comments or even five comments, Mm -hmm. you know, to to process what people like and don't like about you. But I'm telling you, of course I'm not like impenetrable. I'm not Iron Woman. You're human. I'm human. I have feelings, I have emotions, but I just remind myself 
this is about you and your higher power. This is this is a gift. This is a beautiful thing. If someone says something nasty to you, that's on them. That's not about you. You can't please everybody. It's it's like I say, you can't win all the money you and can't, you can't win all the love. Well the money, come on, money. Yeah. Yeah, money is great. You know, you can buy stuff, you can live lavish, all stuff, but can you sleep with it? Can you hold it at night? Does it talk to you? Does it listen? Do you it's just material. Things that will come and go. This flesh and blood, all of it will come and go. So it's like we're here for maybe 80, 100 years if we're really lucky or less or much less. So I know it might sound corny, but it's like, yo, it's it's about appreciating every day and and maxing maximizing the opportunity. You're not living for anyone but yourself. You might have a spouse. You might have children. That's different. I don't know because I'm not a parent yet. But at the end of the day, it's your life. So be true to yourself is the best thing I can tell anybody. Definitely, definitely. And once again, you just having this you know, <laughs> tone about yourself is energy about yourself is very very needed in this climate of not just music but the world itself so tell us more about this ep there's a there's a something i've been hashtagging for a minute and funny enough it goes with my name but it also goes with where i'm at and the hashtag is elevation um i'm elevated i I don't know. I've grown. I've I've matured. I've I've uh, seasoned with the finest spices. No, <laughs> but um, elevation. It just it's a movement. It's it's a concept. It's I don't know. Yeah, like elevation. So that's probably the name. Um, I don't know if I can confirm that. I'm looking at my phone too. Not yet, but. Well, just, 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 just remember the the name ha Elevation for now. Mental note, Elevation. <laughs> El, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. Where can people find you on social media? El Varner, everything. Elvarner dot com. By the way, I will be finally coming out with some merch. I like totally missed the merch memo. Um, merch. Elvarner dot com. Twitter. IG and what's the is there another one? Oh Facebook. Hello. Hi Facebook. I'm like fake ass. <laughs> no, but um El Varner everything. Awesome. Well, Loving You Blind is out now. Yes. Along with the video. Yes. And Thank I'm you. decent. This has been another edition of Pop Dust Live. Make sure you follow us on all social media at Pop Dust. Make sure you visit our website at mm -hmm. popdust.com.